Well, what we have realised over the recent weeks is that we as a county and as a council are facing a very difficult situation financially in that there is £50 million coming out of our budget. We have faced uh, situations previously where we've had a reducing budget and that's been over a period of years. But now I think the situation has changed quite dramatically and it's got even more serious. Um, the, the budget coming to the Welsh Government from Westminster, of course, as we know, in times of austerity, that has declined and in turn then we are getting less from the Welsh Government as our councils throughout Wales. But the sums now have increased dramatically and because we have had to make savings over uh, quite a few years, it's becoming increasingly difficult for us to find those savings now. So what we've decided to do is to get a specific piece of work and try and work in partnership with the people of Gwynedd to look at those savings. Are there ideas that perhaps we're not aware of, but the public is? Are there some maybe radical suggestions that people think can help us save money and also try and protect frontline services for those people in most need at the same time? Well, what are we trying to do is to make it as easy as possible for people to contribute ideas. I think we're aware that many people are able to do that through using social media and access to the internet. We've got a specific uh, website that people can connect with and that's uh, gwynedd.gov.uk forward slash Gwynedd Challenge and all the information is on there and there's a form that people can fill in with any suggestions. I'm sure they can also keep up to date through various social media such as Facebook and Twitter and so on. We're also arranging seminars in various uh, parts of the county where people can come along, get information and maybe put some ideas forward. So all in all I think there's a good opportunity for people to feel that they can bring some ideas forward, learn of that challenge that is facing us because although it's, it's something that we have to deal with as a council, actually it's something that's going to affect everyone in the county because what we're talking of is trying to manage services in a way that we can still sustain those that are important especially for those people who depend on public services. So this period is going to be very important and I do hope that as many people as possible come forward.